This conference will now be recorded. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, call this meeting to order at 6.01. Uh, the first uh, item is approval of minutes from August 16th, 2021. Motion to approve, Chris Pia. A second? Second. Second, Peter Pulaski. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, approved. Moved on. Uh, number, the next item is uh, Parks. Go ahead, Chad. Chad, we can't hear you. Yeah, Chad, your audio is not working. You're not on mute, Chad, but your audio is not working. Try an input. Um, can he hear us? Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, he can. All right. All right, Chad? We'll go on to the next one, which, uh, what? Okay. All right. He's calling in. Yep. Calling in. Okay. He's calling in. Chad, just mute your screen, though, on your screen. Mute that, because I know that'll give feedback. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll keep going. Uh, okay, that'll go uh, golf course. Pete? Um, I would say the, the, the golf course in the last month or so has, uh, well, let me go back. The golf course was in tough shape about a month ago um, for a lot of reasons, most of which had to do with agronomic uh, uh, procedures. Um, so, um, Chad and I had a couple of conversations and actually uh, he literally came down to the golf course and uh, based on his professional experience, we, uh, we got going with uh, an aeration and a, <clears throat> a tremendous amount of sprays and chemicals on the golf course. So the golf course is coming around a little bit. Um, you know, it's been a struggle and I, I know Chad probably wanted to talk about this as well. You know, we had, we had, couple of pieces of equipment break down. Um, and uh, so it's making a little bit of a comeback. The, uh, the play has been pretty good, um, although I think conditions had a little bit to do with the decline. Um, we, we've, been, we've been talking about, we've been talking about a, uh, we've been talking about a maintenance schedule. Uh, both a daily operational schedule and a and a yearly schedule that we could all we could all be um, able to look at and follow and make sure that things get done for 2022. Um, I know Chad has a, a an aeration he wants to do at the end of this year in preparation for the winter. Um, Big, big picture stuff. We we continue to talk about um, a couple things. One is an income plan for 2022. Chad's been working on getting some numbers for me. Um, everything from retail in the golf shop, uh, price increases. Um, one of the things Chad and I talked about was uh, for 2022, um working with the, the rec department at the beach so when somebody comes into the beach and buys a parking ticket from out of town we give them some kind of coupon to come over and play golf um you know um just a lot of uh income producing opportunities that uh, i think we we've we're missing the boat on so um again uh future planning are, are the things that we've been talking about um other than that we're uh you know we've had some outings this month uh all all 
good responses as far as the golf course. We still struggle with the um, interaction with uh, with Nikki in the restaurant. That's that's something that I think the um, the uh, administration needs to 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 be involved in, and 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 so we get people to to use use the facility to be part of the big picture. Um, but um, all in all, we're making we're making good progress in, in getting the place uh, back in good shape. So, so it's it's positive in that note. Okay, good. Yeah, I played there last week, and yeah, it it was pretty good, at least for the game that I'm at right now. So, um, anyone have any questions of Pete? No. Chad, can can you hear us? Can we hear you? I can. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Good. The phone works. All right. Um, like Pete touched upon, you know, the course we had, uh, we really, well, I really focused on the last uh, month and a half, the last five weeks or so, um, just paying attention to what's going on the course, seeing, you know, some stuff that had either been skipped or missed or timing was wrong, uh, but we're on top of it. You know, the aeration went out about 19 tons of top dressing went out, which is certainly, you know, we could have definitely did more, but given the time and the area, because fertilizer went out, two types of fertilizer, uh, both carbon nitrogen, not synthetic nitrogen. So they give you long-term effects, not a short-term effect. Um, and a hundred pounds of seed went out on the green. So if you look closely in all the holes and some of the scarified areas, you could see popping through the holes, you know, which is a great sign. Uh, we did uh, quicksilver applications to start to knock down the moss and control the moss. Um, the second quicksilver application is coming up this week, Tuesday, I believe, is when we're scheduled tomorrow, weather dependent. Um, if it's not Tuesday, it'll be Thursday. Again, you know, it targets the moss and it targets, you know, keeping it at bay so that we could get seed in the ground and give the seed a chance to grow. Uh, we are scheduled, like Pete said, we're trying to schedule a second aeration with bigger tines in November, probably around the 16th or so. Uh, once we solidify that date, I'll obviously pass it along to the commission and make sure everybody, and then Pete could put it through the four up in the marketing and send it through the, uh, the administration so that everybody is versed on it. Nobody's surprised um, as best as we can. Uh, that's when we'll put out more top dressing. Uh, probably another full load. We'll try and bury them in as much trap dressing as possible to help dry out the moss, to get sand into the profile, to remove thatch, um, all of which are, you know, out of control on those greens. Uh, teas were aerated, overseeded, and fertilized about the same week, a week after, uh, around September, second, third week in September. Uh, so again, you know, the, the crabgrass that was on it was sprayed with an herbicide. To knock that back down now as we start getting into the fall it was starting to turn orange anyway first frost kind of kills it but the herbicide took it out so it gives the good grass and the seeded grass the holes you know the overseed a chance to grow for the going into the fall we're going to get them back to the best condition they can so that next spring they're out um, diligently uh, you know tom Irwin, the company that we use came out with new planners and all these new super tools for superintendents and for people that watch all the budgets and the sprays and the programs. So and looking forward, I'm going to a seminar, I think uh, October 30th, no, October 20, whatever that Thursday is, 28th or something like that next Thursday, um, where they're introducing it and kind of bringing it out to the public, um, which is great. Uh, the, the fairways are scheduled to be aerated through October. We're just gonna get holes in the ground um, it's not really going to break up play or anything like that. We'll just take the tractor with the roll area, trying to get it down, because honestly, I don't remember the last time they were done. So we're going to work on that, which will help with drainage and, you know, long-term effects as we keep up these agronomic programs. Uh, this week, the greens, you know, if we get the spray down on Tuesday toward Thursday or Friday, we're going to do a very light top dressing to keep putting sand into the profile, uh, something that's really inobtrusive to play you won't even notice it. Uh, the golf course, you know, like, like Pete said, we were a little bit slower than 2020, 
2020, obviously, everybody knows when it ex was an exceptional year. Uh, probably maybe never to be repeated again, but at least a benchmark that is uh, incredible. So in 2019, you know, we did 42,838 of sales and about 3,200 rounds. In 2021, we did just under 2,500 rounds at 33,837. So still very good, very busy, consistent. You know, we're still between Pete and I, Pete has phenomenal ideas on how to change the marketing and how to get more people out, uh, which is very good. It's um, being the timing that it is right now, it's kind of hard to introduce. Um, so I'm going to talk with my director to try and see, you know, she uh, obviously has a direct link to the mayor. If the mayor wants to, you know, stand behind it or go forward with it, it's really up to her. And then we could hold like a special meeting or at least present it through email to the commission and then see if the commission stands behind it. So, you know, obviously like the fall specials, a buy one, get one half off, uh, free golf Thursdays, or, you know, with a purchase, you get a free round. Uh, something to increase our number of rounds. Uh, when we're starting to decline, you know, hopefully we can get a resurgence because the weather has absolutely been beautiful and day to day it's very slow, you know, so, we're missing somewhere. And uh, Pete, Pete's got, like I said, amazing ideas. So that's all stuff that we have to visit coming forward. Uh, the complex uh, fall baseball is still going on. Um, the tennis court construction is in full swing. So we're going to that. So that we're going to um, go to two basketball courts, two tennis courts, all post tension concrete. Uh, the back side will be, you know, put down topsoil and put down seed and just and keep it as an open grass area for civilian rentals or whatever the case is over there. Um, the irrigation systems have been winterized at the sh at uh, the restaurant and the concession stand. And then the golf course one gets done in the next week or two, um, kind of before that, you know, obviously, obviously the, the heavy uh freezing goes down but the pipes are so low i mean that's late in december but uh we haven't watered in 12 13 days and the course is really starting to respond to you know no water compared to overwatering, which is great um so if anybody has any questions you know, i'll be happy to answer but uh you know just kind of going I, I have a question chad Pragmites, which i can now spell yeah. thank you uh, third hole is, it's just an accident waiting to happen. Sorry, can you go? Yeah, uh, the Phragmites, especially on um, number three. Is yeah, so so we, we had this grand master plan and uh, with the state closing and not issuing permits, um, our all habitat services lost the permit to do the state control of the Phragmites. So by the time they re-upped their permit, they couldn't do the spring applications of the herbicide to help control it. Now we're back to mowing it in the fall and then going to this spring to control or start the spray program to alleviate the Phragmites. Um, I've reached out to our, our rep, uh, Destiny, um, she, the last email I got from her is I'm on maternity leave. Um, I'll be stepping away from the office for a month or two. So I've reached out to Dave Roach to try to schedule that uh, mowing this fall. Uh, he wanted to wait a little bit longer um, so that the waterfowl and all that stuff is out of the area. So still trying to get a date. Once I pin a date down with him, then we're going to continue on the process that we've talked about before. A fall mowing a spring when they get to about 18 inches or two feet herbicide application that's safe for aquatics, safe for everything, uh, where it helps slow the growth so they don't get to that six, eight, 10 feet, and then fall, next fall mowing again, then the spring application so that we continue on this to help break up the Phragmites. And at some point, when we show our due diligence to the state, we could go for grants. All right. Anybody else have any questions for Chad? Chris? Aaron? Yep. Hey, Chad. Um, oh. Just a quick, quick observation slash 
thought, um, and that we can we can discuss further. But literally, you know, in the last couple of weeks, me knocking on doors just for re-election, people are just obviously getting you get into a lot of great conversations. People are very excited that we move forward with the renovation of the tennis courts and basketball courts. Pickleball, 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 pickleball. That's all I hear. Um, and, and you know, I'm laughing because I I've never played it in my life, and but I keep hearing it and hearing it and hearing it. And hearing it. And so obviously there is a lot, a tremendous amount of interest. I'm, I know you guys know, I know Parks and Rec knows that. You guys have had these conversations at Yeomans, you know, for the last two years. So my question, I guess, is what more can we do to enhance, you know, before I know we just ripped down the fence and I know we haven't started lining anything yet. What more can we do to essentially line it potentially for more courts, either not vertically, but horizontally, um, just to educate me a little bit. Sure. So this was actually ironic that you brought up this. I mean, obviously, well, not obviously, but the way that the, the courts were built down at Short Beach, the two tennis courts that we're left with is an oversized tennis court. So to have two courts side by side, the actual area we have is, is big. It is a very large surface. They can be tighter. So right now, as it stands, you know, we're doing two tennis courts with pickleball lines in the tennis courts. So when you put pickleball lines in the tennis courts, you physically have to lower the net. And then whoever has the permit has to raise the net because the pickleball net is slightly lower than a tennis net. Um, same width and all that stuff, but just slightly lower. So when you put them on tennis courts, that's the only caveat that you have. Um, the contractor was like, look, you're so close. You need 10 more feet of post-tension concrete, and then we could put two tennis courts and two pickleball courts, either parallel or perpendicular, probably parallel so that balls aren't crossing each into the court, kind of like how we're doing at Worcester. Worcester, because it's an oversized tennis court for two tennis courts, we're doing one tennis court and four dedicated pickleball courts up there. So in order to keep the two tennis courts down at Short Beach, it was either we have to go two tennis courts with the interior pickleball lines, or if we extend out, now obviously there's a cost to it, and the cost that the contractor was coming up to doesn't fit our budget. So he was trying to sharpen his pencil to see if there's any way that we could possibly extend it out um, to get these pickleball courts. But truth of the matter is, I mean, we build the facility we have now, and then we have all that open grass area behind. You could also do a future phase in and add post-tension pickleball courts behind it. You know, you already have one side fencing, then you just add three more sides, whatever the cost is, the cost is, you know. So um, I think it's about, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm a 400,000 up at Worcester. I don't know what the exact cost was. I don't remember. Um, so something similar to that, we could add on to it. And being that it's post tension concrete, you just add on to it, you pour another slab and you're all set. Um, so, and with this pickleball, 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 you know, we went from basically four at, uh, four at flood. Now there's going to be four at, well, there's four that are on canal. There's four that are going to be in Longbrook. There's going to be four in Worcester. So four, eight, 10, 12, and then two more down at, Short Beach, you're talking about four pickleball courts going to 16 pickleball courts in a matter of three months. Um, so yeah. it's really going to be widespread in all different areas of the town. No, and I listen, I, I appreciate it. I know what you guys have done, and I know the council approved a lot of money in this past budget for Worcester, Benel, Short Beach, Longbrook Park. I mean, literally, we're, we're hitting everything here, which, um, which is awesome for everybody across town, no matter where you live. So um, I just I felt that I had to just bring it up. It's literally all I've heard in the last two weeks, which is, you know, obviously a good thing. So but no, that makes sense to me, and I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I mean, it's something that, you know, if the, if the commission votes in the upcoming futures or even next year, if you want to add two post-tension pickleball courts to the existing complex, then you just add them on. You know, the, everything is right down there for them. So. It, it's all a matter of just how we want to change the future of the, you know, the complex, you know, having eight tennis courts down there was overkill. You right. know, we did not, the only reason why we ate eight courts down there is because Stratford High played down there at one time. Obviously Stratford High went to flood and now they're right. going to go to Longbrook. So there's really no reason to put eight courts down there Two kind of seem that sweet number, 
uh, with basketball obviously immensely popular down there. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, if, if the outcry is that we need pickleball courts, build pickleball courts. If, if we need two more tennis courts, build two more tennis courts. You know, we kind of have an open area with a flex that we could do in the future. Thanks, Chad. You got hey, it. Anyone else have any more uh, questions for Chad? No? Okay, we'll move on. Uh, Bob, do you have anything to report? Uh, nope, just that we had a successful movie season and uh, always looking for volunteers, but uh, another successful season. So appreciate everybody's support and uh, still a big hit. So nothing like blowing up a 20 foot inflatable screen and showing uh, the great lineup we did. So for everybody, I helped appreciate it and another year in the books. Okay, thank you, Bob. Anyone have any questions for Bob? No, Brandon, do you have anything? Nope. Okay, very good. Um, all right, that brings us any old business? New business. First thing, the 2022 meeting schedule we need to uh, approve. Everyone got a copy of it? Okay. Um, all right, I need a motion. Motion to approve. Motion to approve, Peter Pilate, motion to approve the schedule. schedule. Okay. okay, Pete, second? I'll, I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? No. In favor? Aye. 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 One, two, three. It passes. Aye. Okay. All right. Is there anything else under new business? Thanks, guys. I okay. don't know. Uh, so, yeah. Go ahead. Karen, I was just gonna. I don't know if this is where I get. Um, had something come up the other day. Interestingly, uh, a friend and I were playing golf and. Um, he noticed the bench that we have on the first tee uh, from the kindness campaign and him and his father used to play there all the time. And he asked if he were to coordinate a donation with Ben's Bells and they made us another a bench. Could he place it at the golf course in remembrance of his dad? So I don't know how we start the process for approval, but the request was made and I think it fit in nicely. So I'm bringing it to whoever needs to let's talk it out and see what we need to be, but he's ready to make a donation and I'm sure they could make us a bench. Okay, that would be uh, uh, Chad and Pete. You know, I mean, you can discuss the, discuss this at a later date. Um, okay, I was trying to make sure okay. that I wasn't skipping a step yeah. and, you yeah. know, and yeah. how we do that. It carries on our, our Be Kind campaign. Um, yep, okay. Okay, anyone yeah, else I'm have anything? Yep. Anything, that's it? Motion to adjourn. Um, Mr. Williams, Second. do you have anything? He's our call-in visitor today. Sorry. <laughs> no, thank you, Karen. Just uh, very interested as always, and thank you for having me. Okay. Uh, sorry about the the noise uh, two weeks ago, but they will not be coming back. Um, okay, I need a motion for adjournment. It, it wasn't yep. bad. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Chris Pia. Chris Pia. Second. Second. Bob Jekyll. All in favor? Yep. Aye. 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 Excellent. Great meeting, guys. Thank you all. Have a good night, everyone. Yep. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye-bye.